So here we have a real nice grave out here by this priory. Um, been doing some chanting. Uh, in the future we may even do full night, all nighter out here with musical instruments and um, also bring bring some measuring equipment. Anyway, in the 1830s, this whole area here was covered by uh, ivy, and a lady was found to be living inside there with two cats. And the local people were bringing her food every day from the local village, which is a bit of a walk, like I'd say. It's just amazing. So, Goranga. There's definitely some energy, strong energy here. We've got this uh, amazing old Celtic design here with the circle cross. It's quite fascinating. So, there's a lot of chanting, a lot of devotional meditation went on here back in the day. A lot of you know, like the Aboriginal chants and the dances, they were performed in a circle. Uh, so they'd always come back round uh, and heighten. It was a spiral because upon completing the circle, you'd be on another level consciously. So this was one such place the monks would rotate round in here, chanting, building up stamina, shakti, a mystic energy. And then they'd be ready for. Uh, for breakfast and a good good day's uh, devotional activity artwork and recreating healing as we're continuing in you know, following in the footsteps to this day beautiful place